The first time I looked at muscle tissue through an electron microscope, I was excited by the fact that it was prettier than any of the other things I'd looked at, and I stayed excited all through medical school. During his 47-year career at Duke, Michael Reedy established himself as a world leader in muscle structure, helping to establish Duke as a foremost center for muscle research. When I came here, it was a situation that was richer at the stage of developing equipment and, and technologies than any other place that I knew about. Working with colleague Ken Taylor in the late 1980s and early 1990s, the duo froze muscles while in action, giving the researchers far greater insight into muscle structure and function. The value of that is that we would understand for the basis of injury and and, and mus muscular activity, how those things operate and how people can learn better not to do the things that'll give them a, a sore muscle and that sort of thing. Most of this work was done using muscle tissue from bumblebees and giant water bugs. The giant water bugs have large muscles up, up to almost uh, three quarters of an inch in length and that made it very easy for us to do uh, experiments on that scale. Another key ingredient to Reedy's success, he says, was his wife Mary, who was the chief lab technician before and after they married. They worked together for 35 years before her passing in 2008. She and I were partners in a way that is hard to, hard to believe, but, but we, she was really a, my right hand and my left hand at very many stages of the work. His various awards include the prestigious Humboldt Research Award from the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation of Bonn, Germany. Reedy has two sons and a daughter and four grandchildren. He likes to read and says he might even start playing the guitar again. When I was a little kid, I went to Gene Autry movies in Anchorage where I lived for a year, and I thought, oh boy, I love the way he sang. Now that he has retired, Reedy says his Duke lab is in the good hands of his staff, being led by assistant research professor R.J. Edwards. He made it possible to get fundamental detail that pertain to heart muscle action and heart, heart disease. He said in addition to the world-class staff and facilities at Duke, something else had inspired him to stay here for the entirety of his career. When I came here, I thought, oh boy, I'm leaving my evergreen background in Washington State and I'm going to the evergreens at the other end of the country, but they're still evergreens and I love evergreens as, a, as an environment for me.